In this video, we are going to talk about fractions. To share a pizza equally between two children, we will split it into two equal parts. Each part represents one half of this pizza. If we take one part of these two equal parts, then we can write it like this, one over two, and we read it one half. The bottom number, which is two, represents the total number of equal parts. The top number, which is 1, shows one of these equal parts that we choose. The little line here is to separate the parts that we choose from all the parts. This way of writing is called a fraction. We took one part out of 2, so it's 1 over 2. We read it 1 half. Now, we split the pizza into 4 equal parts and take only one part of this pizza. The fraction of this pizza is 1 over 4. It is called 1 fourth. Notice that it's the same as in an hour. We divide the hour into 4 quarters. Here we have a quarter of an hour, which is 15 minutes. If now we take 3 parts of this pizza, the fraction will be 3 over 4. And we read it 3 quarters. And again, it's the same as in an hour. Here it is 3 quarters of an hour, which means 45 minutes. We divided this rectangle into 3 equal parts, and we colored one part. The fraction of the colored part is 1 over 3, and we read it 1 third. If we colored 2 parts of this rectangle, the fraction will be 2 over 3, which is 2 thirds. The number 2 represents the number of colored parts. Now we have divided a rectangle into 5 equal parts and colored 3 parts. The fraction of the colored part is 3 over 5 and we read it 3 fifths. Here the fraction of the colored part is 5 over 6 which is called 5 sixths. If we have colored all the parts of this rectangle we will obtain 6 sixths which is equal to 1 since we have colored the whole rectangle. The fractions 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 10 over 10, 100 over 100, 1000 over 1000, etc. are all equal to 1, since we have taken all the parts at the same time. So, if we have a rectangle and we divide it into two equal parts, then the fraction of each part is 1 over 2, which is 1 half. If we divide it into 3, then the fraction of each part is 1 over 3. If we divide it into 4, the fraction of each part is 1 over 4. If we divide it into 5, the fraction of each part is 1 over 5, and so on. Let's do this example. What is the fraction of the blue colored parts? The total number of parts is 9. So we write 9 below the dash. The number of blue colored parts are only 3. So we write 3 above the dash. And the fraction of the blue part will be 3 over 9. So in the fraction 3 over 9, the number 3 represents the blue colored parts. And it's called the numerator. And the number 9 shows all the parts. And it's called the denominator. 